and the judge don't f them. And that's exactly what they did. And so she never showed up from the questionnaire. The first of all is is there has been negative propaganda put out about me that's not true. In an explosive turn of events that has taken the entertainment world by storm, Suge Knight, the notorious former Death Row Records CEO, has come forward with jaw-dropping claims about some of the industry's most influential figures. In a revealing episode of Collect Call with Suge Knight, aired on Sunday, February 4th via Dave May's Breakbeat Media, Knight divulges a secret affair that has remained hidden from the public eye for years. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Basically on my side. Knight asserts that Diddy's former mentor and Uptown Records head honcho, the late Andre Harrell, was involved in a clandestine romantic relationship with none other than Russell Simmons, a titan in the music industry. But the bombshells don't stop there. According to Knight, this relationship was not just a duo affair, but extended into a more complex triangle involving Diddy himself. Andre Harrell and Russell Simmons, everybody know, Knight boldly states in the interview, suggesting that within industry circles, this was an open secret, albeit one not spoken of publicly. And McCarthy looks a little upset and said, what's up? He said, this dude didn't speak to me because they didn't threaten my family. These allegations have sent ripples through the entertainment industry, prompting a reevaluation of the relationships and power dynamics at play in the upper echelons of music's elite. As the story unfolds, questions about consent, mentorship, and the impact of these relationships on Diddy's career and personal development come to the forefront. And Dan said, no, don't, don't trip, let's go. He didn't say, let's trip, but he said, let's just go inside the courtroom. We go inside the courtroom. And before we delve into the intriguing claims made by Suge Knight, let's take a closer look at the enigmatic relationship between Sean Diddy Combs and his mentor, the late Andre Harrell. The bond between Diddy and Harrell was nothing short of profound, as evidenced by the heartfelt tributes that poured in following Harrell's untimely passing. When news of Harrell's demise began to circulate, it sent shockwaves through the music community. DJ D Nice was among the first to announce the devastating news during an emotional Instagram live session. Harrell, the visionary behind Uptown Records, and the man who launched the careers of megastars like Diddy himself and Mary J. Blige succumbed to heart failure at the age of 59. In the wake of this tragedy, it took Diddy a few days to gather his thoughts and express his grief publicly. But when he did, his words were poignant and reflective of the profound impact Harrell had on his life. In a tearful Instagram post on May 11th, Diddy shared a heartfelt video tribute, expressing gratitude to Harrell for the opportunities he provided. Dre, I'm only standing up here because you gave me a chance, Diddy emotionally conveyed. But most importantly, what we all have to do, as a black man, you took me underneath your wing and was patient with me, and you taught me, and you taught me, and you taught me about the game. You believed in me. The sentiment echoed throughout the industry, with Diddy emphasizing the invaluable mentorship and guidance Harrell offered him. I honestly still can't believe it, Diddy admitted in the post. I've got to give myself the reality of this in doses, because I can't even handle this. I hope to God that you are all blessed to have someone in your life that loves you and believes in you like this man believed in me. Harrell's impact extended far beyond Diddy, as tributes flooded in from fellow artists and industry insiders. Russell Simmons, who played a pivotal role in Harold's career, struggled to find words to express his grief on Instagram. Heartbreaking, no words, my best friend, always compassionate, good-hearted, full of love, and what a beautiful legacy he leaves in this world, Simmons wrote in a poignant tribute. Now, as we reflect on the profound influence Andre Harrell had on Diddy and countless others, rumors of a deeper connection between the two men have resurfaced. Whispers of a romantic entanglement have long circulated within industry circles, suggesting that their relationship may have transcended the boundaries of mentorship. He showed Diddy how to get money, and then, you know, probably showed him some other things. Yeah, take with that with you. Could there be truth to these speculations? Suge reveals new details and takes these allegations from rumor to fact. Had nothing to do with me. So, I don't regret doing anything for those. Knight's claims strike at the heart of the industry's power structures, shedding light on a shadowy world of clandestine affairs and hidden agendas. With the force of a verbal sledgehammer, he boldly asserts that Andre Harrell, the late luminary behind Uptown Records, and Russell Simmons, the enigmatic co-founder of Def Jam, shared more than just business ties. They shared a secret love affair. But I'm not homophobic, and I really don't, you know, care. You know what I'm saying? I just, but um, I'm bad at the game, and it's probably hilarious. I would love to see it. In the wake of these explosive allegations, the industry finds itself grappling with uncomfortable truths and unspoken realities. What once lurked in the shadows now stands exposed to the harsh light of scrutiny, forcing a reckoning with the complex interplay of power, privilege, and sexuality that underpins the music business. But Knight's revelations don't stop there. 
In a stunning twist that threatens to upend the narrative once and for all, he implicates none other than Sean Diddy Combs himself in the web of intrigue spun by Harrell and Simmons. According to Knight, Diddy's association with Harrell served as a gateway into a world of debauchery and excess, leading him down a path of moral ambiguity and questionable behavior. Puffy, get his intern stuff with Andre Harrell, Knight asserts, his words dripping with implication. That started his journey. Puffy started some journeys. But the drama doesn't end there. Knight's revelations also cast a spotlight on Diddy's alleged relationship with none other than Usher. The suggestion that the two may have been involved in a secret affair adds a new twist to the narrative, raising questions about the nature of their relationship and the impact it may have had on Diddy's career. He said, the reason why they say that, person got threatened is my wife. They said, your wife? He said, yeah. Michael Harris to some guys. Of course, it's important to approach these claims with a healthy dose of skepticism. Knight, a controversial figure in his own right, has a long history of stirring the pot and making outlandish statements from behind bars. But could there be a kernel of truth buried beneath the sensationalism? Only time will tell as the dust settles and the industry grapples with the fallout from Knight's bombshell revelations. As the saga unfolds, one thing is clear. The music industry is no stranger to scandal and intrigue. From secret affairs to bitter rivalries, the world of entertainment is a swirling cauldron of drama and controversy. And with Suge Knight at the center of it all, the plot thickens with each passing revelation. Meanwhile, as the world grapples with the implications of Knight's accusations, the man himself languishes in the confines of a prison cell, his once mighty empire reduced to ashes. Serving a 28-year sentence for a fatal hit and run, Knight remains a spectral figure haunting the fringes of the music industry, his words carrying the weight of a man who has seen it all and lived to tell the tale. Continuing from the explosive accusations made by Suge Knight and the revelations regarding Diddy's alleged violent behavior towards women, it seems that the storm surrounding the bad boy mogul is far from subsiding. Knight's claims not only shed light on Diddy's tumultuous relationships, but also hint at a disturbing pattern of behavior deeply entrenched within the music industry's power dynamics. I mean, you got to, to be able to do that type of to a woman and other women. While the industry reels from these bombshell allegations, it's worth revisiting the long-standing rivalry between Suge Knight and Diddy. Their feud, dating back to the notorious East Coast, West Coast hip-hop rivalry of the 1990s, has been marked by public spats and thinly veiled threats. Knight's recent accusations only serve to reignite the flames of this decade's old conflict, adding yet another layer of intrigue to an already tumultuous relationship. But what truly sends shockwaves through the entertainment world is the revelation that Diddy's alleged violent behavior may have been learned from his mentor, the late Andre Harrell. Suge Knight suggests a troubling cycle of abuse, implicating not only Diddy, but also shining a harsh light on the broader culture within the music industry. What Puffy done, what Puffy did, what Puffy do, it's not a surprise. Everybody know what it is. Could it be that the mentorship Harold provided to Diddy came with a dangerous cost? Shug Knight's accusations suggest a troubling pattern of behavior passed down from mentor to protege, perpetuating a cycle of exploitation within the upper echelons of the music business. Call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Uh, face to face is going to be a lot of strain to do. As the industry grapples with these troubling revelations, one can't help but wonder what other secrets lie buried beneath the surface. Knight's claims may just be the tip of the iceberg, hinting at a much darker reality lurking behind the glitz and glamour of the entertainment world. And with Diddy's representatives declining to comment on the record, the truth remains shrouded in mystery. But as the saying goes, where there's smoke, there's fire, and the inferno ignited by Suge Knight's accusations shows no signs of burning out anytime soon. As the dust settles from the bombshell accusations hurled by Suge Knight, the echoes of his revelations continue to reverberate through the music industry. I hope people really understand what saying what Suge is saying, one fan comments reflecting on the gravity of Knight's words. I've never, ever turned my nose up at Suge. I understand his mission, even though he's done some wrong. I wish him all the blessings in the world. Let your light shine, Shug. Indeed, Knight's allegations have thrust him back into the spotlight alongside comedian Cat Williams, both serving as conduits for long-buried secrets and uncomfortable truths. Shug Knight and Cat Williams are bringing all things from under the covers, another fan observes. There's nothing more left to tell. This sentiment speaks to the seismic impact of Knight's revelations, which have laid bare the inner workings of an industry long shrouded in secrecy. Before we close the chapter on this explosive saga, we want to hear from you, our dedicated audience. Do you believe Suge Knight's claims have merit, or do you think they're merely the ramblings of a controversial figure? What do you make of the allegations regarding Diddy's alleged relationships and the broader culture within the music industry? Share your thoughts and join the conversation below. Until next time, stay tuned for more updates from the world of celebrity gossip.